Today I'm going to rebuild uh, my sensors node. It's a battery node with a uh, tem temperature sensor inside. Um, this is going to be rebuilt because it's a old software inside, and I could just uh, I could pretty much just update uh, the software if I wanted to. But I have a new uh, easy PCB, which is uh, uh, now in revision 10. I'm going to do a rebuild of this sensor which is a temperature change sensor in my uh, in my cellar so uh, let's begin So uh, what we're going to need here, I have uh, desoldered and uh, got some parts here uh, for my temperature sensor. So we're going to need a, a Pro Mini, um, standard 3.3 volts, 8 megahertz, a uh, uh, NRF Tentforce uh, L01 Plus uh, Nordic radio, capacitors for the radio and voltage regulator. We are going to need a temperature sensor and a booster. And I forgot a couple of things before we move on. I, uh, of course, need to set the PCB to uh, either BAT or REG. Uh, and this is going to be a battery operated node. So uh, we, of course, need to solder that pin header together. Like that. And of course, we need some sort of battery measurement, uh, a voltage divider, and we're going to use a 1M and 470K. The easy PCB is constructed in that way that when you attach a battery to the board, it's actually going to um, send the voltage from the battery to the, this uh, step up booster and this booster is going to take all inputs from around 1 volt up to 3 point uh, something volts and output 3.3 volts uh, for the Pro Mini. Uh, the bad thing with this is that they can be a bit noisy and generate generate noise into the into the board, and the radio is really sensitive about that. So um, this board in, is built like that. When you have a battery input, um, 
the radio is actually powered separately and not from the booster but directly from from the battery uh, itself and uh, if you look up uh, the NRF Transforce uh, 01 uh, radio uh, data sheet uh, you will see that this can handle down to 1.9 volts so uh, 1.9 volts will be the, the minimum um, voltage this um, board will be able to hold uh, or take before it shut down, shuts down and when it does it's the radio that goes out first um, but 1.9 volts uh, when you only have the, the my sensor set up and um, a temperature sensor that's um, that's fine with 1.9 volts you can of course um, pressure that number if you um, work with the bootloader and the fuses uh, but um, with 1.9 volts you will pretty much uh, this temperature sensor will be reporting every 50 minutes and it will last way over over a year on two um, on two AA batteries and that's fine with me because it's really easy to uh, work with this DC uh, and this is the step up boosters even if they are a bit noisy but as I said if you are a more experienced user or I want to go further you can do this without the step up booster and therefore reduce the noise and make the um, uh, radio a bit more stable and also work with even lower voltage just at 1.9 volts but to be able to do that you need to go further and do some more stuff uh, including reprogramming the the fuses and the bootloader for the Pro Mini um, and that's not in this video so at last I think we have everything uh, fit as it should so I have started my microscope here and you can see the Pro Mini in in the image here uh, at the moment and this is the voltage regulator and we have the LED here and the resistor LED uh, this one 102 and I actually find it easier to remove the, the resistor than the LED itself and, uh, first of all you want to was a clean tip and then there we have it uh, resistor removed and let's see if we can remove the voltage regulator so uh, the regulator is gone as you can see and the resistor is gone uh, but the LED is left there but since the LED is in series with with the resistor it's not going to work anymore I think I'm happy there it's not that big of a deal it looks like uh, we don't have any shorts so the next step will probably be to uh, add some sort of software to the board again uh, and um, debug and after that 
um, we can measure the power consumption some and before we deploy it. So it's time to upload the software. I have the board ready. Uh, it's been soldered and uh, two batteries have been attached. Uh, so I'm going to uh, connect this to the FTDI adapter and and then try to upload a sketch to it. And to do this I uh, remove the VCC pin uh, and use the battery to uh, to power the board. So by doing this I will initiate the power and just add the FTDI adapter. And I have this sketch. As you can see on the screen, I have uh, the NRF24 radio. I have defined my node ID because this is node number two. Um, this is not something I'm going to use. And the rest is pretty much standard code for my sensors and uh, a Dallas one wire temperature node. I have attached it to as number 5 or D5 I have uh, this is my uh, battery voltage code and you can find that on my github uh, in the setup we will do some calculations and this is pretty much just debug so we can see when when we start up that everything will be fine we we'll present the, the um, uh, sensors as usual for my sensors and in the loop we pretty much request and send temperature and battery back to the controller so let's see what we got here um, we the, need an Arduino Pro Mini and that is correct this is a 3.3 volt 8 megahertz and the program is correct so let's try to compile and upload this sketch. So let's uh, try to connect this again. Uh, as you could see before, uh, we had some issues with with radio uh, or we, we couldn't get any connection um, I actually had two issues uh, coming and going uh, one of them was um, the radio couldn't, couldn't initialize and the other one was a bad reception so uh, what I actually did uh, was replace the most, most uh, common known faults at least in my world um, both the radio and the booster are in my case uh, cheap products bought from uh, China and um, hey sometimes you get what you pay for and, and in this case uh, I started swapping the booster because I know uh, that uh, some boosters generate a lot of noise which disturb the radio uh, but um, uh, that didn't fix the issue I still got uh, the the error messages that you saw on the screen so I uh, just swapped the radio and um, I have a good hunch that uh, this will work now so let's uh, see if we can bring something up on the, on the screen there we go that should be fine and there we have it. Um, oops, something strange is going on here. But as you can see, we now have a good connection. Uh, everything looks fine. Uh, and uh, this is the log that you should get from uh, my sensor node starting up. So the the last checks I normally do on a battery node is actually to 
compare or to, to measure their power consumption um, and if you are a true pro at this you you will get uh, uh, consumption down as uh, below 10 microamps but um, uh, in my case and, uh, and with this setup um, I normally try to go below 60 microamps. Um, this node with two batteries it's quite easy to to um, make uh, on your own and uh, it's very easy and well known components and it's absolutely possible to make them even more low power and maybe uh, power them with a with a coin cell or or other batteries but but in, in my case I'm, I'm really happy with this uh, uh, setup since it's so easy to, to accomplish a temperature node or, or another uh, type of, of node. I attach the ground to, to um, uh, VCC and so that the multimeter actually is in, in series with, with uh, VCC here. So. And straight away during start out we see around 20 milliamps and this will probably go on for a couple of seconds um, it is now presenting node to the gateway and the controller and uh, sending information back and forth um, and there we see the node goes into sleep mode measure that in microamps and it's around 49 uh, during sleep uh, with my multimeter and uh, I'm perfectly happy with that this node will with two full batteries probably last a year or something like that and they are really cheap so again Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something and um, if you want uh, more information about uh, ECPCB, my sensors or uh, other home automation projects I suggest you check out openhardware.io or mysensors.org um, you, you will find me there if you want to ask questions about uh, ECPCB or my notes um, in the forum and in the chat So. Um, thanks for watching and have a great one.